Hi, James here. Today what I want to look at is having one layer appear on top of another layer despite the hierarchy, meaning that you can't have it that way. So I'm just going to make a couple of drawings. And to think about an example of what this is going to be like, think about the moon circling around Earth. So actually, let's use that as our example. So I, won't, I don't need this grid anymore, which I used for a previous example, so I'll turn that off. So drawing one, I just want to create Earth. Let's make Earth blue, even though it's not just blue. We can be this little blue planet. So I also need, now we need a moon. I will make that just a grey. And we'll make that, uh, let's grab this drawing. Put it onto the first frame. And on this one, we'll make our moon. Oops, we want it circular. We don't want the snapping on anymore. So now we'll make this is Earth. And this is our moon. Now what happens is let's extend its exposure out on both of them. That in the moment we grab our moon because it's there it passes behind. That's okay, so we can let's turn on our animation. Throw in a keyframe. We'll pull it over to the other side. But now we want to go back, and this time we want it to go in front. So what do we do here? So what I'm going to do is expand out, and we're going to just use a simple nudge on the z-axis. So on this frame here, we're going to change our z-position. And we probably just want it to be something like... Oh, that's fine. Point 0.1, I increased it to. So now, when we come back, it should be on top. So let's collapse this now. And we'll just drag it over here. And now, you can see that it now starts behind and comes back on front and then of course we could nudge it back behind so you can use this z-axis not just when you're creating a cutout character to get around some of the issues but you can use it to get around the hierarchy of the layers remember that your z value overwrites the hierarchy so if you've nudged something or moved something in the z-axis then it's always going to appear a front, front or behind, depending on which way you do it, no matter what you do with ordering the hierarchy. So when you start moving these Z values, remember that things don't always work the way that you'd expect here. So if they aren't, it may be because you've changed those Z values. So hopefully this helps you and that gives you a better understanding of a trick that you can use with the Z axis to get around the order of the layers.